and welcome to the channel. My name is Claire, this is Polly Put The Petal On and today I'm coming to you with another, I think it's going to turn into a series this guys, I'm coming to you with some more of those uh, faux um, lollies. Um, I was making the, the last video I made, I made the gingerbread coasters didn't I, the gingerbread cookie faces um, out of the coasters, they're the coasters these are two that I made mistakes on. I'm not afraid to show my mistakes, guys. Um, look at the state of those ones. But they are still going to go in my decor because, you know, mistakes are definitely originals, aren't they? They're not copies. They're, they're, they're bespoke. Um, look at the kisser on that one. Yeah, she's meant to be winking and blowing a kiss. I wanted them to have different expressions, not all the same expressions. So I thought, oh, well, I'll cut some more stencils out. Yeah. And the lips are just way too big on that. So, but I still went ahead and I still decorated her after the mistake, you know. And um, this one looks as if she's got birds for eyes. But uh, like I say, <laughs> I'm going to stick with them and I'm going to, you know, use them as my picks. I'm going to put the straws on the back, um, you know, and a little bit of ribbon and stuff. And I'm still going to use them in my decor because, like I say, mistakes in crafts are just um, original, aren't they? So um, the next thing. So I've been learning about those um, lollies. This was the first one I made. If you remember on my last video, I showed you this. But can you see all those little pits? That was because I was very impatient, guys. I was very impatient. And I kept touching it, you know, to see if it had dried because it does dry pretty quick. But when I say pretty quick, you're best leaving it overnight, really. Or or if you do it in the morning, wait until, you know, almost bedtime. Um, and so because I kept touching it, the balls kept, uh, the uh, foam balls kept coming off, you know. So that one. But again, I will still use it. I also know that I need to trim this lolly stick down. It's just that because I have got a little box here with uh, foam in it, which uh, holds my, it's holding my, my lollies and cake pops and stuff. So I'm making the mistakes so that you don't have to. And I've gone across quite a lot of these videos that are, well, the ones that I have watched, they're based in America. And so, you know, the, the talk suppliers that we perhaps haven't got here and stuff. And we definitely haven't got some of their shops. So um, I'm sourcing them and I'm working the things out so that you don't have to, guys. And uh, that's a bit of a win-win, isn't it? Um, but I am learning it and bringing it to you. And the thing is with me, I am quite thorough when I learn. Um, but there will be mistakes. So this was another one that I made. Um, I made the second lolly. Uh, it's a bit rough and ready, as you can see. And then I decorated it with that 3D paint that I showed you that I got from the range. Um, and the foam balls that I got from... I got these from B&M and I got them in a, in a um, slime, a slime accessory pack. And it, it, I think I paid £6 for this slime accessory. It might have been £6.99, guys. I, off and I'm not, I'm not. And I've thrown the packaging away, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, it was either 6 or 6 99 But you got a lot of things in there. You got many tiny... You got bags of this stuff. Uh, you've got one, two, you've got one, two, three, four, you've got five bags of this, uh, you've got beads, you've got uh, many bottles of uh, glitter, little bottles of glitter, I was getting this off with my teeth the other day <laughs> and somebody did notice and say the camera doesn't lie, don't take it off with your teeth, it's just that I can't get it off any other way, so these little bottles of glitter, many, 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 many colours. Uh, wait a minute, I should show that. There you go. That's one strip. You get two strips of this. This is in that pack for £6. Um, and there's lots of, lots of nice glitters and sequins in there. Um, and then you've got your fine glitters. Uh, actually, one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Did I say six packs of the foam balls? So if you are looking for the foam balls, then if I were you, I would look for um, slime accessories. Um, because when I was typing in, you know, the, well, I type in all sorts I do when I'm looking for something, you know, until I find it. And uh, like I say, when I was typing things in, I wasn't getting anything really. And if I did, they were white, you know, like um, you would put in a bean bag or something. Um, and so, yeah, I, it was just happenstance that I was in B&M's and I came across, well, actually it was my friend Kim. She came across it. She picked it up and said, is this any use to you? And uh, I could have kissed her there, right there on the shop floor, but... Yeah, and you also, in that packet, you also get things like this. Uh, like these little, I don't know if that's focusing, little faces. They're just tiny little faces, bears and, um, yeah, teddy bears and uh, uh, little pigs and ladybirds and stuff. So they're a nice little um, addition to anything that you're going to sprinkle on um there's some fruits there some little fruits so, so all in all guys i'm not going to keep rattling on about what's in the pack but oh and you get these uh which, which are really nice they're just like little flakes of something it's like little tiny flakes of tinsel um and i'm going to show you the effect of that so yeah i really I'm glad I came across that and now I know that I can get that, you know, you can get it at B&M, but I do know that if you if you search for, um, I keep forgetting the name of it, slime accessory, you know, slime accessories, they'll come up. So I've done the research, you don't have to, and I'm bringing it to, to you and others that, you know, like me, I didn't know where to get all this craft stuff. I'm a florist at the end of the day, you know. I don't usually um, do this sort of thing. But do you know, guys, I am having so much fun making them and I am learning by my mistakes. So I've shown you those first two. Um, I've already cut this lolly down to size and this one needs doing. And they are, the shape of them is a little bit rough and ready, as you can see, because I was using... I've been using this that I got from Hobbycraft, this foam. Um, but it's quite tough, this foam is, guys. And then all I did was put a little wine glass uh, to do that arch. And then I just cut down, you know, just cut down. Uh, you can't sand it. I'd, I'd already tried that. And so yesterday I thought, right, sharp pair of scissors on this one. So I literally took the sharpest pair of scissors that I had not the sharpest pair of scissors that I had because they're my ribbon scissors and I won't use anything, I won't use them on anything else but ribbon. Um, but the next, second best next sharpest pair that I had and I started to trim it and shape it properly and so I got a really nice shape with this one and I absolutely love this one guys, this one's my best one. Not only is it my best one with um, the shape and the way I've, sh you know, cut it to shape and stuff, but it's also my best one. It was my best mix. Um, because I am using this and this came from the range. This is only polyfiller, guys. And it's a tub and it's £2.99 from the range. Um, and um, quick dry and ready mixed filler, as, as you've just read. Low shrinkage, good adhesion and quick drying time. And it does dry in, in good time. But like I say, you need to leave it overnight. So that was that. That's two ninety nine, and in there you get a kilo. So I've made up some nice colours, guys. Some nice pastel colours. However, I'm get, I'm starting to panic because I I still want to use my candy canes. That was the whole point of this. You know, I've got candy canes in there. I don't want anything to clash. Um, and so it's all got to be in a in a um. You know, I I don't want it to be pinky and. I don't want it to be like that. I still want to add that that harsh red and that stark white. You know what I mean? Uh, not just these soft pastels. But I have made a nice little batch up. So I've got my lemon, I've got my mint green and I've got my pink. My pink was the first one I did because I've made those first pink lollies that I showed you. That was quite drippy. 
I didn't realise, well, I, I, I realised it was drippy, but I didn't realise um, at the time, you know, um, until I made some more up the next day and I was putting less and less water in it because I was mixing it with water. Um, and it does slide down, so you will get a drip. So as I was mixing and I thought, actually, I don't need that. So I poured a little bit of water out. So I was only adding a little bit because you only need a little bit and you give it a good mix. I've got my little uh, lolly stick here and I was giving it a good mix. And then adding a dash of um, acrylic paint to the mixture um, and, you, you know, for whatever level cut green or pink or lemon that you want, it was I was only adding a dash of it mixing it up and the best one I produced was this green uh, because I then went on and I did a cake pop. None of these are dressed so far because this is going to have cellophane on it and a little bow so that it's it looks as if it's from a shop. You know, I'm going to put my straw on it, um, you know, my, my colourful straw. So, you know, it, it, it looks the all singing, all dancing. Uh, authentic article shall we say so i made this i put some glitter on it i used the colors the uh the multicolored bag of foam foam balls and i think it turned out really quite nice and there was not very much drip on it and i thought right okay so i checked back with the consistency in the tub and i thought yeah this is thicker because I, I poured a little bit of that water away uh this one was quite drippy, this one. So I literally went back, opened this tub back up, put a little bit more in each of the pink and the lemon, and I'm pretty sure now that I've got the, the, the best consistency. Um, I, I don't know whether you're gonna find this interesting, guys, but you know, there's no point me going, oh yeah, do this, use that and thingy, but if you don't know, you know, you're gonna come across these problems that I was coming across. Um, in America, this is called spackling. Um, we call it filler. Um, and there's another thing as well, guys. You can actually, if it's too runny, you can actually put flour in it to thicken it up. Not not, not uh, cornstarch. That, there's no need for that. Just plain flour, you know. Um, and, you know, to make it a little bit thicker. So this was the other one that I made. And that's those tinsel... Uh, I just showed you the, I just showed you these in that set from B and M's, and that's the, that's the tinsel effect on there. So I did a lemon one, but I also whatever what I did in this was I also used bath salts uh, to make that sugar, to make that sugar uh, texture. However, it did kind of, I mean, they're still there. Uh, can you see? Uh, I've got a glare, haven't I? I'm sorry about that, guys. It's still there, as you can see, the, the, the as if it's sugar. Um, however, it did react to, the, because at that point, like I say, that was a runny mixture and it was reacting because if you put it in the bath, it dissolves, it, the bath salts dissolve, don't they? So just be wary of that. And I think now that I've got the correct, the correct mixture on this, you know, it's trial and error, guys, but that's all you've got to do. If you do find when you're mixing it, because you need to mix it because it won't, you, you, you know, it's quite tough to work with. So you do need to put a drop of water in. Um, that's if you're using this one. You might use a different brand that doesn't need the water at all. Um, so like I say, if you do put the uh, too much water in, put some flour in um, and then you, you'll get it right. And then hopefully that um, those bath salts won't react and want to dissolve on the thingy. And like I say, it's fine, you know. It's still, you can still see the sugar. Um, and again, that needs wrapping. It needs the straw going on, which I will literally, I'll, I'll bring that to you. I will just literally slip it up, add a dot of glue, put a ribbon on it, put the cellophane on it, you know, so that it looks like a cake pop. And, um, 
you know, a, an authentic article. So um, I think this is definitely my favourite. I, I really like this. I like the colours as well, guys. So, yeah. So I am going to be making ice creams. I was then talking to my nephew this morning. I'm going to be making quite a few things. So do look out for it because they are a ton of fun to do. Honestly, they really are. And you get right into it, guys. Um, I was talking to my nephew this morning and I was showing him those and he said to me, what about the styrofoam? And I said, Sean, I couldn't find it. In, and he told me to pop along to Travis Perkins. I thought, do you know what? I didn't even think of that. Sometimes you can't see because you're trying to think of, well, where could I source that from? Where could I source this? And, you know, you feel like you want to run before you can walk, really. You can't think of it as well. <laughs> It's not very really often I can think of anything with a straight brain because, you know, I uh, go through the menopause. I've got brain fog from fibromyalgia and um, I've got a dodgy ticker that doesn't beat right. So I haven't got oxygen going to my brain. So, yeah, I don't fire on all cylinders. So trying to think, you know, whereas my nephew said, if you go to Travis Perkins, um, and I assume any builders, merchants, you know, um, you can buy huge sheets of it, you know, so, so you can buy a whatever thickness you want and you can uh, buy a big sheet of it so that is going to be I think my next thing because yes you can just paint that styro styro styrofoam you can just paint it straight away and then decorate it in a different way I do like these with the filler and I will continue to make those but I will also do just the painting on the styrofoam Whew, take a breath, Claire. <laughs> We're 16 minutes in and I haven't, you know, I want, I'm wanting to give you all this information. Um, and I hope you're able to follow me, guys. And, you know, so that you don't have to do all the research and stuff. I've done it for you guys. And like I say, I am, when I do, when I get my teeth stuck into something, I do get my teeth stuck into something. Um, one of the ladies that I watched, I found again, because sometimes I watch so many that I haven't subscribed, you know, because they're in suggested videos at the side and I haven't subscribed to them. I'm like, oh, but because it's on the gen the same genre as what I watched the last video as. So half the time, I don't know who they are. Um, they're all American. Um, and so, you know, they've got the best shops, the be best craft shops and stuff and the best craft uh, supplies you know and so that's why we're making ours um and so there was one lady and I said to you last time I couldn't remember who she was well I do remember who she is now because she had a beautiful uh craft shed and she's called I think the pink tree and she is absolutely super de duper um for making all these fake bakes and stuff um so yeah She's got a, she has got a really lovely craft shed. It's absolutely stunning. Puts mine to shame. Mine's just a stash shed. Um, my petal shed. But anyway, so yeah, so we've got a lot of things coming up. We're going to be doing some ribbons and bows um, because I, we're going to be making some wreaths. You know, I've said to you, I, I'm a florist originally, aren't I, guys? And my love is still in with flowers. Uh, so we're going to be making, I've got, I've written a little list. We're going to be making wreaths, deco mesh wreaths and floral wreaths. We're going to be making bows. We're going to be doing floristry. We're going to be making those snickerdoodles because I haven't forgotten them. I needed cream of tartar. Tartar. <laughs> cream of tartar. I needed. So I've now got that. I've now sourced that. We popped out at the weekend. Carl took me to a huge warehouse in um, Manchester um a trade warehouse but i didn't need anything guys it was kind it was one of those kind of places that if you had a shop you would buy and put it in your shop you know and make a profit everything was ready made and i, I you know I, i'm a crafter and a florist i didn't need anything ready made so but it was interesting to go along and see um so yeah we're going to be doing floristry we're going to be doing the snickerdoodles we're gonna probably be doing uh shopping too you know i do my shopping don't i guys and I, we always like a good haul on this channel uh we're going to do crafts in general and uh we're going to do some cricket crafts too 
I've got fake bakes coming up. I've got, I've, I'm going to show you the cake pops. I am showing you the lollies. I'm going to show you the ice creams. Um, and I am going to show you many, many more things. So if you are interested in that type of thing, guys, then do stick around. And, um, you know, please consider subscribing um, because we're going on a journey. <laughs> Um, like I say, I'm getting so much, so much fun uh, out of doing these. Um, and all I'm doing to apply, guys, and I will show you in a minute. I, the thing is, I'm waiting for my lunch to come. My daughter's bringing me some lunch. And so I'm holding off until she's fetched me my lunch. And then I'm going to make a lolly. And um, I think what I might do is I might do a cake pop. Okay. Um, and I've got a lemon and I have got, mind you, I've already got three pinks. So I might do another, another, uh, mint green or a lemon and then we'll decorate it a little bit because that's the beauty as well. You can decorate this as much as you can. Now this one is a little bit of a shambles guys, because I wasn't sure, I wasn't happy with the state it was in, you know. And then I thought, mm, so I just used that 3D paint. Then I added a little bit more. It's still going to fill in a gap in my garland or decorations in my hallway come Christmas time. And I'm going to snestle it in. It'll fill in a gap. It doesn't have to be perfect. And none of us are perfect, are we, guys? So, And I like to admit my mistakes um, because I feel guilty if I don't. I've got such a uh, conscious, conscious, conscience, conscience. <laughs> Told you. Shot to pieces that tell you. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to buzz off now and I'm going to wait for my lunch. And after my lunch, I'm going to come back and we're going to do uh, one of these, which is just a styro styrofoam ball. I will cut out and and shape perhaps one of these one of these okay i'm excited about these projects guys i really uh, i'm really enjoying them so i'm gonna buzz off because you're probably sick of sick of the sight of me and we've not even done anything we're 22 minutes in 20, nearly 23 minutes in and, but I wanted to get all that information to you guys. You know, there's no point me coming to you going, oh, you just slap this on here and stick a few of those on. You want to know where to source your stuff, especially in the UK, uh, because it can be quite tiresome, can't it? And if there's, if I've told you anything and, or I've not told you anything and you need to know anything, drop me a message in the comments box or an email. And uh, I usually take a day or two to reply to emails but I generally try to on the same day. OK, I'm lacking a little bit this this past few weeks, but, you know, I will reply to you and if I can help you out, I will do. So um, I'll see you in a bit when I've had my lunch. So what I've got here, guys, I've just cut out. I've made a right mess of it and hopefully I'm going to be able to tidy it up. Uh, first of all, and just be careful, this is my... Uh, floristry knife this is what I cut stems with you know fresh stems um it's my oasis knife um so I'm just going up and do be careful and obviously but like I say, guys, if you use the styrofoam from the builder's merchants, like my, my uh, I was going to call him my son, my nephew told me today, then and I'll, I will bring that to you when I get the styrofoam. So I've, I've got these uh, cricket scissors from a cricket. And we're just tidying it up. I'm back 
guys. Um, and so I did pop back, you know, and I cut this, uh, still a little bit rough, but I'm going to cover it. So I'm sure it'll be all right. Um, there's Alfie. I just had a big piece of fish for my lunch what my daughter bought me which was very nice but I really need to stop <laughs> um so what I was going to say as well guys is if you know I'm bringing this to you and you can think of any other ways that you know might be done any if you, you yourselves have got any good suggestions because I know some of you are teachers and some of you are craftspeople uh, so if you've got any good suggestions on easier shortcuts or suppliers or whatever, that'd be great. Just let me know in the comments box. So uh, we've prepped that um, and I am going to make, I've also taken some painkillers from my back. Because I remembered while I was eating, I'm seeing it's literally having a, luxurious face to face uh, luxurious is the wrong wrong word isn't it face to face uh in a couple of weeks with my doctor i spoke to him this morning and he's gonna have me in and he's gonna hopefully sort me out once and for all he said so with this fibromyalgia and this bad back this back pain and stuff right so gonna do a cake pop and if you look, you've got your, um, what would you call that? Is it uh, on a sphere? Is it the, I want to say equator. And then underneath, you've got like little marks. Uh, it's there. So that's your centre point, guys. So push it on. Nice and sturdy on there. We're going to use the green. Take the lid off. And um, what I use, guys, is uh, paper plates. So I've got quite a relatively clean one here. Um, it gathers all the bits and pieces, and I don't mean the mess from this. I mean, because uh, I'm going to use these sprinkles on it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go, because there's quite a bit of, if I, can you see there's almost like a green... I think it'll look nice, nice and funky. So just got my lolly stick. Can you see the consistency of this? And like I say, all that is, is the filler, uh, a drop of water and um, a little, little bit of, uh, Acrylic paint, green acrylic paint. So you want to get going. I need to push that just a little bit further up. hope you can see these will be great for uh, embellishing your wreaths if you're doing a nice candy wreath 
which I will be making loads of these in for the future guys because I'll be putting some in my own wreaths. They'd be good as Easter decorations, not just Christmas. And like I say, I've watched fake bakes for quite some time. But sometimes you watch the ladies in America and you think to yourself, oh, it's too, it's too much. It's too much effort because, you know, you've got to figure it out. You've got to figure out where the as they call it, the spackling, what the spackling is. And you've got to figure out uh, where to obtain it. And then you've got to figure out where to get the other bits and pieces. In actual fact, when I started, whoops, when I started figuring it out, guys, it really was quite simple. But I get overwhelmed when I'm thinking about stuff. So I think, oh, no, I'd rather leave it. And this is all you do. And like I say, I'm having quite a fair amount of fun doing these. And then just straighten it round at the bottom. And there you go. There's your there's your cake pop. You can make it as neat as you want or as now I did this yesterday with my others and they've turned out quite smooth. So put that there. Because it, it, it is going to have a certain amount of slippage. Um, and then I need to catch the end of this now. I mean, when these dry, you could dry them like that and then decorate them afterwards, you know, with Mod Podge and glitter and... But for now... I'm going to use and you just sprinkle it on so that when they're in the garland or a wreath or whatever and it say if you've got lights and that it's gonna you know they're not just going to be like a blob they're going to glisten because you want you want a bit of glittering tinsel at Christmas don't we that's what it's all about but I really am thoroughly enjoying making these perhaps could have gone a little bit brighter so then just go lightly over and touch very lightly and that's that one but what I might do, guys, is put a little bit of glitter. Um, that's too dark. I've got this one, but it's not very... I'm going to put a bit of pink on it, guys. So I'm just going to put that in my... I need to just catch... There's a, there's a drip that's going to come there. So you can use whatever colours you like. And I've used those. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I'm going to, I am going to make more colours up. It's just that I haven't got a very, uh, uh, very much left of this in this tub. So um, I am going to be making more colours up. Um, blues. Lilacs. 
and I'm going to try and get a deeper colour too. So it's just playing around and seeing what you come up with. Cute. Isn't it? But you can see there, because it's gravity, isn't it? So I'm just going to leave this to dry now. And like I say, I'm going to make some darker colours and, um, you know, so that I, I can get those um, red and white um, candy canes that I've got, already got. Plus the fact, those lovely... Uh, cake picks that I bought from Home Bargains because that's what inspired this um, well to some degree um, those cake picks that I bought and I thought oh yeah you know because I said this is only polystyrene you know you know th these these could be um, made and of course I've known about the fake baits and I thought well let's see what I can learn and so I hope you you're getting something out of it guys and if you do make any yourselves, do let me know um, and show me a picture because I love to see your stuff. As, as some of you guys know who do send me your pictures. Um, and, and I think the further I go along, the more adventurous I will become. Um, you know. But initially... Initially, it's, um, you know, I'm playing it safe sort of thing. So I've added that one now. Um, and we'll wait for the drips. And generally, it like the, that yellow one just dripped onto there. Nothing came of it really as such. I'll show you what happened. Uh, I ended up with a tiny uh, patch there. Uh, but it's underneath and I'm going to put that cellophane, I'm going to put cellophane over it, you know, and have a little bow there so it's not going to be seen. And like I say, uh, it's not all perfect. I'm, to be honest, I'm looking at this now and I think I don't actually like that colour. I like the pink, the pink and the green, but I'm not keen on that. So maybe I'm going to make some gold sparklies and oh, yeah, we'll see. Like I say, it's trial and error. And, um, and uh, but I really am happy with with what I'm making. And um, I think this one still stands at my favourite one. I love it, this knobbly-bobbly one. Um, I'm going to finish this one. Uh, but we are running on for time, so I'll... I'll, I'll Fetch them all to you. I'm going to make some ice creams next. Um, but I need to go and get my things for those because the, the things that I need, uh, I've I've got a different kind of foam. So, um, yeah, that will be that will be next. I still haven't got the snickerdoodles, as I said before. I'll be doing the snickerdoodles, so that might be next, actually. Um, who knows where I'll be at? Because I do like to uh, I do like to um, change my mind but these are great fun to make guys they really really are and if you've got the time and the patience well it's not even a lot of patience really guys is it it's, I've shown you I've shown you what to do and it's a great way of making a little, uh, <clears throat> making those decorations that are so hard to source for us in the UK. Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you were using, sorry, if you were using the, the uh, knobbly bobblies, you would definitely make sure you press them in as you go around, like I did on the top of that thing. You know, not don't press hard, just go over lightly. Your fingers won't go into the stuff because really you're touching the surface of the 
the foam balls. So yeah, I need to get some uh, takeaway tubs for these uh, to put them into and store, just like I have done with these colours. Like I say, look out for more colours because I will be doing some more. And I think food colouring will be able to do it as well, you know. So I might get some food colouring because it's quite cheap. Because um, they were only with a little bit of paint. Well, I don't want to be wasting my paints, do I? You know, and if I want a really nice, I don't know, say royal blue or um, a dark green or something like that. I think food and red. I think food colouring is the best way forward for that. Just get the cochineal uh, food colouring, isn't it, for the red. So that's it for this one, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And it's been lovely to see you. Um, we're on Wednesday. Um, I will be back at the weekend. Um, either with ice creams or uh, snickerdoodle cookies. But they'll be real. And we will be doing a taste test. Can't wait to try those. I think it's the cream of tartar that make them ch the chewy on the inside. Um, me and Kim were discussing it and Kim said, Kim was saying about when um, she used to make Play-Doh. Well, I used to make Play-Doh for my kids and it obviously you added cream of tartar um, and it gives it that stretch and stuff. So I think when you snap into those snickerdoodle cookies and they're quite appropriate as well because they're cinnamon. The coating on the outside is cinnamon and sugar. Um, so stay tuned for that one as well and then I've still not made a, a bow yet on my new um, easy bow maker I haven't made a bow yet but I will do and um, we're going to be doing wreaths and um, lots of Christmas content um, <clears throat> and shopping and stuff but it's not always going to be bang 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 Christmas you know because I know some people aren't into Christmas and some people think it's too early. It's just that I, I explained to, as I explained to you last week, I'm at quite a lull because I don't really celebrate Halloween. She was my nod to Halloween and I've got a spider up there. Um, so yeah, I don't really celebrate Halloween and that's the month where we're at now seasonally. Um, and then it's bonfire night and uh, hey, I'm going out on... Uh, Saturday guys I'm going out for lunch with family and you know I'm really looking forward to it I haven't been out uh, into my town for such a long time that I really am looking forward to it um, so yeah so I will be back it it may be uh, Friday I will try and get something done and if not, it will be back Monday again. So I've just, I, I, I honestly, I, I forgot all about going out. So yeah, um, it might not be the weekend. It might be Monday, but keep an eye peeled and keep an eye peeled. <laughs> keep your eyes peeled and um, take care. And I will see you all very, very soon. I might do that video on Friday, guys. That snickerdoodles, because like I say, I've got all the ingredients now. It's going to be a relatively quick video and I can pop in before the weekend, can't I? Um, so until then, you take care and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.